It's been quite a while since I've talked about fire mouse cichlids. And as you guys know, there's a bunch of things changing in the fish room. I got empty racks. Um, I got tanks that were on the floor. You can see where the floor was painted. Yes, that's my uh, dog, Lacey. Lacey, say hello. Lacey. She's an old lady and she's not even gonna give me the time of day when I say her name. Half the time she doesn't even listen to me when I tell her to go outside or anything. <sighs> old women. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna get old women messaging now. Anyways, um, today's video is on um, adult, full-size, full-grown fire mouse cichlids. And uh, my videos on fire mouse are pretty popular and I get a ton of messages, people saying, hey, you got me into fire mouse single-handedly and uh, today I wanna give you guys some footage of my breeding pair, my beast of a full-size adult male. So without further ado, let's take a look. By the way, I'm super proud of this tank lately. All right, so here we have it. This is my breeding pair, my beast of a male that has brought me all my yields of firemouth fry. And this breeding pair has been true to me for a long time. This male is probably five years old. And yes, I do have um, this pair in with a bunch of angels and those are rainbow cichlids and some of their babies are in here too. So, but they are basically, they run this entire tank and I know that the, I don't have any live plants in here. I've been getting, I've been hearing a hard time about that. They're like, oh, why don't you have live plants in with angelfish? Like, are live plants too hard for you to keep? And the simple answer is I just, uh, I'm not at that point right now where I care about live plants. Like everything's fish for me. Um, when I do get my store set up though, I will be doing more live plants and uh, it, to be completely honest with you, all my water is tied in with my water softener right now and I have some salt in my water and the live plants absolutely hate it. So, but back to topic, uh, these um, fire mouths are just, they're stunners, they're, breeding, they're a breeding pair, I usually have them in a tank themselves, but like I told you guys that follow the channel, I'm basically stuffing a couple of tanks full of tons of fish, and this is one of the fish, or this is one of the tanks. By the way, that is fake Anubius, and if you're looking to buy that plant, some of these plants, I'll throw some links in the description box, my favorite fake plant is that fake Anubius, and you can get it Amazon Prime your house for like six, seven bucks which is crazy cheap in comparison to what you pay at PetSmart and stuff. So, and I do have some giant duckweed in there. Or wait, I do have live plants. To all you haters out there, I do have some live plants in the tank. So it's giant duckweed. I know it's not your baller status of plants, but it's, uh, it's still eating, some, eating up some nitrates. So let me know what you guys think of my adult full-size full-grown fire mouse cichlids and if you have a bigger male send me pictures because um i would love to see him whoop, whoop. <laughs> 